Hi, and welcome to another video tutorial. I'm Mike, and in this video, I will take you through a new tool called Chronos Maker. Chronos Maker is a Adobe Illustrator extension that's currently available in the Adobe Exchange Marketplace. It's specifically made to make the process of designing and creating a watch less tedious, so the designer can spend more time being creative. In this video, I'll go through all the features that's included in the tool, so you can create something like this. I will start from the top and move down from there. Okay, so first off, you have the uh, index types, and those are divided by a selection of numeric, Roman, and index. So delete this, and I will show you. Having the numeric uh, type selected, you can select by placing out 60, 12, or 4 amount of indices. And then you just press the place button. So now you can see that it places out all the numbers in a circular uh, format. So currently you've selected 12, right? So you can delete this and you can uh, pick 60, for example. And just hit the place button again and you'll see that you'll have 60 numbers placed out. So let's pick up uh, the Roman numbers, for example. So the Roman numbers will do the exact same thing. This time you'll place out the Roman numbers instead. So you can uh, pick between having 12 and 4 for the Roman types. So the same thing goes for index, index type. So what's different with the index type is that instead of placing out a number, it will place out a shape. So when you select the, uh, the index type, the, these two below, the rectangle and ellipse options will be, become available. So let's try out the rectangle first. So you'll see that uh, you have uh, rectangles placed out, right? Same thing goes for ellipses. So this is all great, placing out uh, objects and uh, numbers onto the document, right? But what you might want to do is that you might want to have the shapes or the numbers uh, rotated outwards. So for that, you have the, uh, the checkbox rotating. So you just press that, you can delete this, and then you can try it again and see that now all the indices will be uh, rotated outwards. And this doesn't only apply to the, the shapes, this will also apply to the numeric and Roman types. So for example, let's take the numeric type and you'll see that everything is placed out in a circular manner with each number rot rotating outwards. So back to the index type again. While having that selected, uh, you will also be able to control the width and height of the, the shape just by uh, tweaking these two numbers. So for example, if you want to have like a like a box, for example, and, don't, and you're not interested in having a an, an, uh, rectangle. You just have the same width and height. Just delete this. And you'll see that you'll have a, a perfect square instead. The same thing goes for the ellipse, right? So having the same height and width, instead of having an ellipse, you will instead place out a perfect circle. The last box that you have here is the radius. So what this does is that since how the Chronos Maker uh, tool works is that it will look at your document, it will find the center point of your document and then it will uh, use the radius to place out all the objects in a circular manner. So let's say for example you have all these circles like this but you want you don't want them to be you want them to be further across or like in a bigger radius, right? So you can delete all of these and just like increase the number for the radius. Let's say like 150, like so. Uh, or something cooler would be to maybe switch that back and have like smaller like dots instead, like maybe like even three, right? and you will have that type of effect. So what you can do now, you just keep adding. So let's say for example that I, I want all of these dots here, but outside of this radius, I want to place out uh, big Roman numbers. So 
let's take that and just take a radius of uh, 120, place that. So it will place out the, the Roman numbers. Okay, something else that's really important to know is that the numeric and Roman numbers are, the, those are only text. So what, what that means is that you can actually place these numbers and you can modify them as if they were like regular text, right? So for example, you can select all of these and you can pick whatever font you like that suits your need, right? And the same thing goes for, for size, right? So, and you can do the exact same thing for, for the Roman numbers. So let's say you have a radius of 100 and just place these out. The same thing goes for the uh, uh, Roman numbers. So you can pick whatever font you want. You can, uh, oh, that was not a good font. So, you can pick another size for it, oh that's just way too big. And, you know, since these are also just text, you can uh, just have them centered or to the left or whatever. So, for me, the way I used this tool, I used to place out all the numbers and then just uh, select all the numbers and just center it. So, and maybe you want to switch this out to, let's say, number 12 instead. And that works like expected. So another good feature that you can uh, use is that when placing out a number like that, you can also use the undo button. And the idea behind that is that you might want to keep experimenting uh, a lot, right? So you want to maybe do something like this, just keep adding stuff. You know, uh, and the idea behind it is that uh, it's for the designer to be fast with the tool, so you don't have to reach out to different menus and stuff. You, you have like it here, like really close to to your mouse. Of course, you can use like the the Control Z or Command Z uh, if you're on a Mac, uh, however you like. Chrome's Maker is, as mentioned, an extension for an Illustrator. So everything that I've done in this tutorial have been in Illustrator, and the the tool is available in the um, Adobe Exchange Marketplace. Uh, if you have, if you're a Adobe CC su subscriber, you can just head into the. Adobe Exchange Marketplace and just search for Kronos Maker and you'll find it and just, you can just download it with a click of a button. Really easy. So yeah, I just encourage you to check it out and have fun with it. Uh, this way you can uh, maybe spend more time creating awesome designs instead of uh, placing this out by hand. Uh, since Kronos Maker is specifically made to, to make watches. So yeah, have fun designing.